playing Bulldogs. Seniors, there are only 58 days left until graduation, which means it's time to start submitting pictures and videos for your senior video. Check your grant email or daily announcements for a submission link. All photos and videos should be submitted by May 5th. If you have any questions or want to share an entire Google folder of content, reach out to Ms. Sullivan. Earlier this month, over 30 students in our music department competed at the IHSA State Solo and Ensemble Contest. Each performance was evaluated by a qualified judge and was given a rating score to determine their division. Our competing students earned some of the highest scores and received impressive results, including 23 Division I ratings and 2 Division II ratings. We'd like to send a huge congratulations to Miles Foreman, Sam Lopatowski, and Jacob Tyree for earning perfect scores for their performance. We'd also like to congratulate Lionel Carapia and Braden Cornell as they were recognized by their judge with the Best of Day Award with their tenor sax and trombone duet. Check the daily announcements for a full list of students that earned Division I and II rankings. Are you looking for volunteer opportunities? Consider signing up for the concessions and help the boosters while supporting our Bulldogs at home. For clubs and activities, we know you've been waiting a long time to hear this, but tickets for The Adams Family will go on sale April 3rd. Our cast and crew have been working hard to perfect this year's spring musical and we can't wait to perform in April. Check the Grant website for ticket information when we are back from spring break. Tickets will be sold to children and students for $5 and adults for $7. For athletics, Color Guard has been working to perfect their routine and is excited to show off their skills at next week's state competition. The team will be competing in Tinley Park on April 1st and will perform at 7.27 p.m. Make sure to wish them the best of luck as they head into their final performance week. Badminton competing against Deerfield and Maine South over the weekend. The freshman doubles team from Emery Oliver and Vani Patel along with junior singles players Precious Tahan and Chloe Labuka all went undefeated. Oliver Patel beat Deerfield 21-12 and 21-17 and, and, and went on to take down Maine South 21-10 and 21-12. Tahan beat Deerfield 21 to 16 and 21 to 14, and beat Maine South 21 to 7 and 21 to 8. Lubuka went 22 to 20 and 21 to 13 against Deerfield, and then 21 to 11 and 21 to 10 against Maine South. Lucy Lee won her match against Deerfield 21 to 10 for both sets. At the freshman level, Sophie Lilchuk it beat Revis in singles, while Desiree Dixon swept her single matches, defeating Revis and Deerfield. With so much success, the team was able to secure their program's first ever JV championship slot. Congratulations, Badminton! Track and field has been getting faster and faster. At their Lakes invite, Jerry Schlaff won his heat and took 10th overall in the 60-meter dash. Not only did he run the fastest 60-meter for a freshman in Grant history, but he had the fourth fastest dash by any freshman in the state of Illinois this season. For the 3200 meter, John Denzo ran a lifetime best of 10 minutes and 16 seconds to take 7th place. Memphis Roman narrowly edged out Denzo and took 6th place overall. Lacrosse kicked off their season last week with a match against Deerfield and McHenry. Their game against Deerfield was a little shaky to start, but they found their footing against McHenry. It was a full team effort, but with darts from Jake Deacon, Tyler Fleming, goals from Pride Mendoza, a hat trick from Ethan Frank, and caused turnovers from Vinton Mora, the team beat McHenry 12-3. The varsity boys volleyball team had their season opener early this week against Rockford Auburn and took down the Knights in two sets. The team will be playing at Antioch when we get back from spring break, so make a trip and cheer them on against the Sequites. The dance team is running off season condition sessions through April 13th. Join them every Tuesday and Thursday after school. Contact Coach Shifley or Coach Grouper for more information. Speaking of Coach Shifley, did you hear the awesome news? Coach Shifley was chosen as this year's recipient of 8 Count Audios Coach of the Year Award. Her passion and dedication to the dance program does not go unnoticed, and we are so happy to see her receive this type of recognition. Congrats, Shifley! Today, all levels of our baseball program are playing at Woodstock North and lacrosse is taking on Dundee Crown at home. On Sunday, softball is starting the spring break tournament and baseball will play against Warren. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this week and over spring break. You got this! For College and Career Center, the VFW National Auxiliary is offering a national scholarship to young artists who are looking to further their education after high school. They will be offering scholarships to 13 artists and the deadline to apply is next Friday. If you have any questions, check the daily announcements for more information or ask an art teacher. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day, enjoy spring break, and remember to keep it red, Bulldogs!